Welcome to our Pecan Planner 7 video tutorial. Today we want to give you a little insight into the new user interface. In this video we use the Pecan Planner Pro 64-bit version. If you are using the free version, some of the features will not be visible to you. Nevertheless, the basic user interface does not differ. The interface is generally divided into the top tab navigation, the working area, the new toolbar on the right hand side and the footer. On the right hand side you can switch the ribbon on or off at any time by clicking on that icon. So you can enlarge your working area. If you switched the ribbon off accidentally, you can activate it by double clicking again. Let's start our tool with the file tab. Here you can find all the general features and settings. In Pecan Planner Pro, you can also reach the layout menu. Here you can edit the program settings. You can change the language of the entire application, set the default currency or change the interval for auto saving. In this part of the user interface, you will see different tabs which are divided in the following categories. In the clipboard are common features such as copy, cut and paste. Right next to it, we have prepared some standard room elements. Walls and windows, doors and lights. Here are all the objects that you may need for your room planning. If you cannot find a specific object, you can look for it in different catalogs. You can also search for 3D icons of well-known manufacturers at our search. Simply enter your tag here. With the simple drawing elements, Objects can be drawn quickly in 2D or 3D. Also add text and images easily. The layer filter is another important tool. Display or hide cameras, show dimensions, switch between 2D or 3D layers. Here you can also set the visibility of objects. In the edit tab are various tools such as the object grouping, and separating of connected articles. With these tools you can move, rotate, extrude, mirror objects and much more. Materials and colors can be edited over here. With the material pipette you can easily transfer materials from one object to another. If necessary you can also edit your materials with the material editor. With the dimensioning tools you can measure distances between objects or an entire room. It is also possible to create your own dimension styles and use them for specific projects. Let's now talk about the presentation tab. Here you will find the various media types which can be created with the Pecan Planner to present your own planning. In the Pecan Planner Pro, the snapshot tool is able to simply generate product images for article lists. The printing functionality and the layout area can be found over here. With our online presentation service Impress, you can create an interactive presentation of an active planning, which has been created in Pecan Planner. This button takes you directly to the website with your own presentations. In the next tab, you can switch between the different display modes. You can represent your planning, for example, in wireframe mode colored mode and realistic mode. With the Pecan Planner Pro, you can also create your own rendering styles and display modes. The setting for cameras is particularly important for the rendering. In order to get the same image section repeatedly, a camera can be placed to the active view, for example. Here you will also find the possibility to zoom in or out. In the Help tab, we compiled lots of information about using Pecan Planner. The comprehensive Pecan Planner Help Center provides answers to many questions, as well as pictorial guidelines to specific problems. Right off the workspace, you can now find a new toolbar that contains everything you need to access quickly. There are the Property Editor, the Layer Dialog, the Pecan Catalog and many more. So all you need is just one click away. Simply move the toolbar by dragging it with the mouse. At the bottom right of the footer, you can set the snapping modes, 
and the display of the working areas. Here you can also switch between the single view, the horizontal view, the vertical view and other views. Within the window you can of course increase the individual views and zoom. In addition several perspectives for different viewports can be defined. We already introduced the different rendering styles of the view tab. They can be selected individually for each window here. With that little button over here you can navigate inside of your planning. Feel free to download our free version on our website to get your own impression of the software. Of course you can also check the 30 day trial version of Beacon Planner Pro. I hope you enjoyed the little presentation and thank you for your attention.